The Nissan Insider has been a staple of Titans All Access since the show began airing in 2003. These one-on-one -on -one interviews with Titans players give fans the chance to see their heroes in a different, more revealing light. In this Nissan Insider, we are introducing you to Titan slot receiver Tyler Boyd. Boyd spent eight years with the Cincinnati Bengals before finding a new home in Nashville with his former Bengals offensive coordinator, Brian Callahan. You are from Clareton, Pennsylvania. You lose your first game in high school, and then you never lose again. 63 straight wins. What is that like to win 63 straight games? Oh, man, it was remarkable. You know, it's kind of uh, mind blowing, you know, but just coming up out the environment in the city I was raised in, you know, it was poverty crazy, you know, and um, it was probably about 20 people on the football team, 25 people. And uh, I think we just prided ourselves to just get outside each and every day and just get better at sports overall, not just football, but just uh, lean on each other and just hold each other accountable to uh, be great, you know, so everybody already didn't think we can do it. So it just felt like every game we had to prove something. What have you carried from that high school experience winning in that way towards an NFL career that's lasted nearly a decade now? I want to say just that that dog in me, you know, it's just, just that it factor that I have, you know, going into anything that's competitive, you know, because uh, like you said, since day one, since high school, since Little League, you know, I always had it in my mind that uh, I couldn't be beat. You know, and I always wanted to beat the person in front of me, regardless how hard I had to work to get there or what tactics I had to use, you know, I always found a way to try to uh, win my, my matchups. So you go to the pros, you're drafted by the Cincinnati Bengals in 2016, and you, you find a role for yourself almost right away, and it's a role you've crafted throughout your career. You can play outside, but you've played the slot and you've become an expert at that. Does that background from having to, had to do everything in high school and then having to learn your way in college given you the ability to sort of say, this is my job, I'll do it, I'll be one of the best at it? That's how I kind of started, you know, where I just fit into whatever you need me to do. You know, like you mentioned, I can play all anywhere on the field, you know, but I just at the time when I came into uh, Cincinnati, we already had AJ, we had Brandon LaFell, you know, so that was kind of my only position I could kind of come in and start and make an impact on. So I had experience in it in college and just um, just flourished, man, and just, just, I always just had a great feel for football, you know, being there when the quarterback uh, didn't see anybody open. What was your first impression when you met Brian Callahan when he joined the Cincinnati staff? Uh, he was just very calm, very chill, very settled. I could just tell he wasn't an emotional guy. He wasn't a, like a blue collar, aggressive type of a guy. He was just somebody that you can kind of go to and just talk football with or, or vent to. You know, he just gave that off. Just in his body language, he was just easy to just talk to. So it just allows the players to just sink into whatever coach is uh, telling you to do, and you'll just buy in at that point. Have guys been hitting you up for intel on Brian Callahan, trying to say, what do I stay away from? What do I need to do more of? What do, what sets him off? Things like that. Yeah, it's so crazy you said that because exactly what I said. They said the same thing. Like he's very cool. He's down to earth. And you still gotta go out there and do the right things, you know, before you can t continue to build on to the relationship, you know. Because at the end of the day, he's the head coach. He's trying to do his job. You know, he's going to yell sometimes. He's going to get, you know, emotional. He's going to he's going to you know spontaneous get different feelings, you know. So um just. Being able to be coachable at the same time and be able to take criticism, I think it goes a long way with the relationship. When Titans All Access continues, it's time to go beneath the surface powered by Microsoft Surface. Coach Dave McGinnis has his eye on new Titan Center Lloyd Cushenberry, and trust me, you don't want to miss it.